Thank you, everyone. Thanks very much. Thanks for being here. Uh, I'm Greg Pierce from the Fret Buzz. Uh, today, uh, I'd love to work with you on um, uh, a variation from the Soar Variations, um, as arranged by Fernando Soar, um, from uh, this, this theme from the Magic Flute by Mozart. This is one of the faster and more intense, uh, technically speaking. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. It's in the key of E major, a few accidentals here and there. Uh, lots of alternate picking, slurring pull-offs, all that kind of uh, glory. Let's get down to it, shall we? We're using E major on the second string and the first string uh, for the majority of, uh, of this variation. Um, just a brief moment where we use the low E string and the D string at the end. So. Let's uh, see what these scales look like on those two strings, just to get the ball rolling. So four sharps in this key, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, half step to E at the end. Um, so what does that look like? Okay, so open E, F sharp, G sharp, A, all, right, with these, I have to get that input fixed. Um, four notes, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Right? Um, now, if you'd like, we can also do E, F sharp, G sharp, shift to A, and play A, B, C sharp. Right? And then at the end, third finger to fourth finger for D sharp and E. So slowly, it would end up looking like this. Back down, same fingerings. An alternative, perhaps, uh, try this. Uh, fingers one and three. One and three again. And now one, three, four. It's kind of nice. Right. You really can't cruise on one string if you use the right fingering. So if you're just dragging one finger back and forth, it's abysmal. On the B string, are you ready? So on the B string, we'll have um, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. F sharp, G sharp, A, B. Anyone know what, uh, what the E scale beginning and ending on B is called? Anyone in the audience? Oh, right, right. It's B mixolydian, the fifth scale degree always gives us the, uh, the mixolydian scale if you're in a major key. Good. So, um, B, C sharp, D sharp. E, F sharp. And then G sharp, A, B. Right. Let's get down to work, guys. Um, our pickup, our anacrusis. Right, G sharp is the downbeat. Dot at 16th, I'm sorry, dot, dot at 8th to 16th. Four E and up. Four E and up. Okay. That figure that I just played, G sharp E, and then pulling off to open B is the primary. Um, uh, theme that we have technically speaking um, in this uh, in this variation so we're playing G G sharp E and B twice back to F sharp and D sharp right fourth fret and then back up so together right very nice from here uh, A and F sharp G sharp and E sharp right I am going to call it E sharp only because I'm going back to F sharp, right? I would want to call this F natural with an accidental, sim I'm sorry, with a natural sign next to it, only to write another sharp next to this in the same measure. There's too many symbols to look at. So this right E sharp, and, and anyway, E sharp is the leading tone into F sharp, right? Just the way that it works. You hear the F sharp is, is, the, is the destination for this part of the melody. So again, E sharp, leading tone into F sharp. So this part, now back to E natural. All right, so we put those two together. Kind of cool. Going on, same figure. Now I explain it. Um, <clears throat> let's see, B major, E major, okay. F sharp minor seven. Or is it? No, 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 no. Sorry, B7. 
A, a is the seventh, F sharp is the fifth, no third, and we play open B. Okay? Now, A sharp, F double sharp. Because we're treating that as the leading tone into B and G sharp. B7 again, and then G sharp and E. Everything we've just done now, slower tempo, um, then we'll build the whole thing back up before we go on. So, from the beginning. this turnaround, this turn into the next part. So G sharp E, okay. um, F sharp A. Pick, pull, pick, pick. Downstroke, pull off, right? I should do an upstroke there. Upstroke, pull off, down, up. Just to really economize what the right hand is doing, keeping all the picking motions as concise and centralized as possible. All right, guys, so the turnaround now, um, we have G sharp pulling off to E, upstroke, pull off, and now downstroke on F sharp, downstroke on F sharp, and an upstroke on A. So up, pull, down, up. Okay, going on, um, the finger that we're pulling off with is gonna change to the index finger. Upstroke, right, and now pull off with the index finger, ah, to open E. So E, G, sharp, and B, E major arpeggio, okay, E diminished arpeggio, back to E major, and now from here, no more pull-offs, we're going to pick everything. Let's do that together. <clears throat> um, e major, E diminished, at the sixth fret, seventh fret for E again, okay. E augmented, okay. and now we're going to bring that up into A major, still A major, B major, A major, <clears throat> pardon me, E major, still E major. Um, B7, 7th and 5th of the arpeggio, still B7, now playing the root, I'm sorry, the 5th and the 3rd of the arpeggio, and the turn, this is what I was talking about uh, in the beginning, we, we finally are making use of some more of, the, uh, some more of the instruments, D string and low E string we used for this part. A little bit slower, E, B. G sharp E, low G sharp, to open B, to our bass note E on the sixth string. Just the second part, guys, ready? despise classical music, this exercise uh, is completely amazing for um, coordinating picking and slurring into one phrase. It's essential to be able to do that. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this variation from the Magic Flute by Mozart, arranged by Fernando Sor for the classical guitar. Enjoy yourselves, be kind to one another, and uh, check back again soon, shortly please.